Hey everyone, I am Amud and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn to handle a drop down created using select tag in HTML using Selenium Web Diver with Java. By handling a drop down, I mean selecting a value or multiple values in a drop down or retrieving all available options in a drop down or deselecting a value. ATC. So a dropdown can be created in many ways. One of the frequent ways is by using select tag of HTML. So in this video tutorial, we will focus on handling a dropdown created using select tag. You might be wondering that I said dropdown can be created in many ways. Then why focus on select tag? Reason behind this is that Selenium Web Driver provides a direct way to handle select dropdown, which we will see in detail in this video. On the screen, we can see a dropdown. And if you click on this drop down, you can see many options and you can select any one option in this drop down. If you inspect this drop down, then you can see that it has been created using a tag called select. If you expand it, you'll find many option tags. So this option tag is used to add a value to drop down. Whatever inner text you see between opening and closing option tag, you can see those appearing in the drop down options. If you change this inner text value will be changed on UI. This option tag may have one attribute called value and the value of this attribute value can be anything. It is not mandatory to have same value as inner text. So in this drop down we can select only one value at a time. But it is possible to create a drop down using select tag which will allow you to select multiple values. For that we need to use one attribute called multiple with select tag. So let me right click edit at HTML and I'm going to add one attribute called multiple come out. Now you can see drop down is changed and you can press control and select more than one values. So this is called multi select drop down. So this is basics about select drop down. Now we will use Selenium Web Driver to handle operations on these drop downs. Let's get started. Here I have already basic script ready where I am launching a Chrome browser and my drop down HTML page that you can find in my project itself. So Selenium Web Driver provides one built in class called select. So let's create an object of select class first. So for that use select which is coming from Selenium package. Keep the reference name then new select and you can see it is expecting a web element which is mandatory that cannot be null. So basically you need to pass drop down web element for that go to select drop down and inspect it so this select tag has an attribute called id so i can use this id attribute to locate this select drop down make sure that you are locating this select tag not option so let's copy the id value come here use chrome driver dot find element by dot id and then pass the id value once you provide the select drop down locator this class will help you to select values easily. Even you can do much more. Let's see. If we call this reference select to dot type select, then we have some methods like select by value, select by index, select by visible text and select by contains visible text. So first method select by value. In this drop down, every option has an attribute value. So if you want to select a value using its value attribute, then we can use select by value method. For example, I want to select option 2. This option has a value attribute whose value is option 2. So let me copy this value and I can call select by value and pass the value value. Let me quickly run this program and show you that it will select the value in no time. So you can see it has selected option space 2 in the drop down. Suppose you pass the value which is not present in any option, then what will happen? I mean, instead of option 2, I am going to pass 2, 1, 2, 3, which is obviously not available in my select drop down. Let's run and see what happens. So on the console, we can see some error. It says no such element exception cannot locate option with value option 2, 1, 2, 3. So basically, when you pass the value of value attribute, it creates one locator internally and try to locate the element to select that in the drop down. But we are passing some invalid one. That's why it is not able to locate and it is giving the exception like no such element exception. Let's correct the value. You might be seeing some auto suggestion that is coming from code GPT plugin that I have covered in my previous video. 
then we have one option called select by visible text. So whatever option you see in the drop down on UI that is called visible text or inner text. That means when you click on this drop down, we see option one, option two, option three. We have a space in between. So if you want to select the value by using this inner text, you can use select by visible text method. So I'm going to use option three and let me put some sleep so that you can see how value is changing. Maybe two seconds. Then we have another method called select by index. So in this drop down, we have six values and all values will have its index starting from zero. If you do zero, then to select select value one will select option one and so on. So I want to select fifth index value. So here you can pass select by index five. Let me use sleep again. And we have one more method which was added recently select by contains visible text. It is possible that you don't know the full option value, but you know a particular text will be part of that option. In that case, you can use this method. Let me use SEL because we have only one value. But in case of multiple matching, it will select first matching value in the drop down. So let me use OPT only so that you can see what it does in case of multiple matching options. So first it will select option two, then it will wait for two seconds, then it will select option three, then at index five, I think it is option five itself and then it should select option one at the last and i should wait for two seconds so 2000 and to pass so let me correct everywhere now i will run the program so option two is selected then option three then option five then option one let me close the browser so i hope you are clear with these methods it is also possible to get the selected value from the select drop down it is a good practice to assert the selected value in the drop down before we move to next step so if you want to get the selected value from the select drop down we have ready made methods so if you type select which is the reference then so basically here we have two methods get all selected options which will return you a list of wave element and we have get first selected option which will return you a wave element so basically if your drop down is a single select then we should use get first selected option or if your drop down is a multi select then you can use get all selected options technically you can use get all selected options for the single select as well because anyway it is going to return you only one option but in that case you need to iterate the list and get the selected value one more thing it is not returning you the direct selected option instead it is returning a web element that means options tag within the select tag and it's your job to extract the text from those web elements to show the demo i'm going to comment these lines and i will do select dot get first selected option which will return me a web element so i can directly call get text method let me store into a string and i can print that or i can use select dot get all selected option and here i can do get of zero because i know there will be only one selected option in the list or let me print the size so let me quickly run this program and see the output so you can see option two is selected and if you go to console you can see option two is printed after using get text method and then size is one for get all selected options method suppose you want to get all values from the drop down for that we have one ready made method called select dot get options which is giving you a list of wave element so let me store into a list and to extract values i need to use for loop options dot for each it will give you a wave element so use variable like wave element and then i can directly log out wave element dot get text and here also i can have a says of drop down options are i will comment all these lines so basically when you call this method it is going to return you all the option tags and now it's your job to extract the text from those wave elements which is here let me quickly run and show you so you can see it is printing all options in the drop down so in the single select drop down if you select any value like option space one and if you want to deselect it then you need to select default option which is select in this case basically what i want to say that you need to select another value to deselect previous one 
why I'm explaining you that because this set class provides some method for deselecting also. Let's use that. I'm going to comment all these lines and uncomment these two lines. So here I have selected option two. And if you call select reference, we have some method like deselect by contain visual text by index by value or you should select everything. You can use deselect all. Let me use select by value, which is option two. And if I run this program, let's see what happens. So it has selected option two in the drop down, but on console, it gives you an exception that you may only deselect option of a multi select drop down. That means all these methods related to deselect are applicable only for multi select drop down, not for single select drop down. This is the important concept. Now let's handle multi select drop down. So I'm going to my HTML and here I will add multiple attribute. Now this is a multi select drop down. So selecting a value in a multi select drop down is same as single select drop down. We need to use these select methods. So I'm going to uncomment all these lines and only deselect by value will be commented. So it is going to select option two, then option three, then fifth index value. And then it is going to select what here. This is tricky. So as of now, I'm going to comment this line and I'm expecting it to select option two, option three and option five with default option because that is by default selected. So let me run and show you. So select was already selected. So option two, option three. And if you scroll down, you can see option five are selected. But with this method, we have trick. I'm going to comment all these lines and only I will uncomment this method. So what happens in single select drop down? If you have many matching options, then it is going to select the first matching option. But in case of multi select drop down, it is going to select all matched option. So let me run and show you. So here you can see it has selected basically everything. Select was already selected. So it is not going to be deselected automatically, but all other options were selected because all options contain OPT. Now for multi select drop down, we can use deselect methods. So let me uncomment select by value and let me uncomment this line as well. So here I am selecting by value and I can deselect by any method. There is no relation between how do we select and how do we deselect. So if I run this program, it will select option two and after two seconds, it will deselect option two. Let me run and show you. So you can see it has selected option two and now it is deselected. Similarly, you can try different methods. If you want to deselect everything, you can use deselect all method. So these are very straightforward. You can try it. Similar to single select drop down, we can extract the selected value from a multi select drop down as well. And for that also, we have the similar methods which we used for single select. I have already shown you the demo. So here I can use select. Then we have get all selected options. We cannot use get first selected option because it will return me only the first one. If you want everything, then to use get all selected options. And this is going to return me a list of web element. Now I can simply iterate this list to extract the text from all the selected options. So for each, it will give me a web element. So e dot get text and let me print it directly. So sys out all set. Let me run this program and we should see all selected options printed on the console. So in the console, you can see it has printed all the selected options. So I think I have covered all the concepts of select drop down here. But now I will say you actual problem with select logic. Here I have one select drop down. If you inspect it, you can see it has been created using select tag only. And there is some problem with this drop down. And if you try to click on this drop down, no options are shown. Now I'm going to call select class on this. Let's see what happens. So in this program, I have updated my HTML page and here I want to select option two. Let me run this and see what happens. So you can clearly see Selenium is able to select value in this drop down, but an end user cannot select because user is not able to click on this drop down itself. So, so your automation script will pass and you will provide the sign off as well. But when it will go to production, it will be a big blunder. 
why Selenium is working in this case because Selenium does not click on this drop down and all. It is directly manipulating with DOM and trying to select the value. But an end user will click on this drop down and then he will select the value. That's why I prefer to use the approach in which I will click on drop down then select the value from the drop down, not using this select drop down select class implementation. And the second problem with this select implementation is that this is for select HTML tag only. If you pass any non-select drop-down element, then it is going to throw an exception. For example, here I have one drop-down and if you inspect it, you can see it has been created using div tag. So if you pass this drop-down in select constructor, it is going to throw an exception. Let me quickly show you. Instead of by.id, I am going to use by.class name and pass the value. And also let me update HTML file which is non select drop down. All these HTML files you can find in my GitHub project. And let me pass correct option uppercase O space 2. Let's run the program and see what happens. So it has not selected any value. Go to console and here you can see unexpected tag name exception. Element should have been select but was div. That means this select class is strictly for select tag drop down only. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.